Yo, what is going on, Steeler Nation? We are back with another episode of the Steel Factory Podcast. I think this is episode 206. I am accompanied by my co-host, as per usual. What's up? What's up? All right, gentlemen. So this past weekend, we wrapped up the preseason. And uh, uh, with the game against the Lions, I just blanked really quick. Um, so we finished 3-0. How are we feeling? I mean, I feel pretty good. I feel, I feel, I feel pretty good. I feel good about... Uh, I feel good about our weapons on offense. I feel good about that's kind of it, honestly. I don't really <laughs> feel great about our, our quarterback situation. I, I think Mitch is going to be the guy going in, um, which isn't ideal. I, I think we should honestly just give Pickett all the reps we can. I, there's this we weird thing. This, like, we, uh, we came to the conclusion last episode that Kenny should have just been the guy, huh? Yeah. I think there's this weird thing in the NFL where like you don't want to ruin a rookie QB's confidence by like having him be shit but I don't think if you can ruin their confidence they're your guy to begin with you know yeah like then Peyton Manning came in and he like set the record for interceptions right like (laughs) yeah it's what it is right and then Burrow came in and there were games where he looked like shit and then there were games where he looked really good and it was a terrible team but at the end of the day you could tell like that's the guy, right? And honestly, I think Pickett's just better suited to be behind our line. I, that's kind of how I'm feeling about preseason. Is like, I feel good about, I feel good about our weapons on offense, but I don't feel very good about really anything else. Even our defense looked a little. Uh, it looked it look spotty at times, but then yeah. I, I have to say they did look better. They got the whole, the whole. Dude, Tomlin got so much crap for this, for leaving the the whole, uh, basically all the starting defense out there, the whole first half. And honestly, it only became a problem when TJ had to step out because he got that that chop block um, by the, the Lions tight end. What are you guys' thoughts on Tomlin leaving the team out for that long? I thought it was fine. I think they needed the reps. And they I they did, the yeah. Was, I don't think the injury was like anything major. If it was a real game, he would have kept playing. Yeah, that's that's totally right. I just think though, um, when we when we actually had our defense out there, and granted, it was the Lions' backup Q- QBs that got cut. They didn't even make their fifty-two man roster. I think um, are the sources right? Yeah, they are. Um, and the defense did look good. I don't think the Lions got like any plays um, in our own territory behind our own fifty. So I think that was good. Um, couple turnovers. That Cam Sutton pick was like right to him. Um, and then he ran it back. Oh, yeah. But uh, one one thing I do got. Um, so Trubisky played the whole half too, and I felt like I got blue balled. I'm not gonna lie, Kenny didn't play till the third quarter, and when when Trubisky's getting the ball to start at his own red zone twice, and we're coming away with field goals, that doesn't make me feel confident going into the season. I'm getting really nervous. I think this O line is just not good in general they look better but i feel like there was like 10 times as 10 times more penalties they look better just as bad they did not look better they they look better (laughs) but still still bad i'm not saying they look good they look better compared to jacksonville mitch looked like he was running for his life i mean at least he was able to complete 15 out of 19 do they look better or are the lions just worse that's that's probably it honestly i think the lions have one good pass rusher in the the Jaguars because I, I did hear the Jags had some dogs. They um, have that number one pick and then a first round pick from a couple years ago. Yeah. That's really good. Shit. All right. Well, I don't know. Uh, we we have so many question marks on the line. We got we brought in another guy from I don't even know what team he was. I heard he was a journeyman, but he's like already like thirty years old. So I mean, I'll take that. I don't know. I don't know where you plug him in because I feel like. Um, there's just so many holes besides, especially on the left side of the line. And I feel like anything could be interchanged besides maybe our right tackle. But even then it's like, okay, would, what, Wasn't if you, there a, what if you put him on well, the left side? What if you put Chucks on the, on the left side? Didn't he play there for a year? Was he bad? Probably. Was uh, he a backup for a year? I want to say he probably didn't start till 2020. Ah, oh, did you guys see that tweet where it was like Kendrick Green? You better count your lucky stars. You made the roster. Bro, okay, or something? so 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 Kendrick <laughs> Green girls, tweets man. out. Um, I just gotta thank God or something, right? I don't got it on me right now. I'll put it on the screen. Um, on the video, 
and then and then dudes were just like you're on your life <laughs> you're fighting for your life bro <laughs> Your career is like your hairline. Dude. It's just going downhill. It's receding. Like, <laughs> bro, like, fuck. <laughs> that shit was so fucked up. Fuck, and, and Kendrick Green just re- no, no, no. I saw one where Kendrick Green replied, and the dude just completely did a 180. He's like, oh, I hope you have a really good year. <laughs> like, dude, come on. <laughs> that shit I'm dying, dude. You got to stand by your shit talk, huh? Right? Yeah. That's, uh, that's actually hilarious. But honestly, um,. It even looked like Kevin Dotson isn't even sure if he's starting either, though. That's the thing. I, I don't think we haven't had any he's starters. Not, him, he's not that good, and it's honestly, I'm pretty disappointed in, in Dotson. I feel like, that, like he looked like he had a high ceiling when he played a full year in 2020. I have no idea what to think of him now. We did say we did say that he did the line did look better when he came in uh, in the Jaguars game, but even then, it's like not that much better. And we also don't have on paper how much of um, how much starters played for each team, which I would like. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I mean, we got we got what eleven days till Cincinnati at the time of recording this podcast. How are we feeling eleven days out now? I'm nervous. You getting nervous? I'm nervous, dude. I don't think I got a starting quarterback in fantasy. I still think uh, I don't think we're eleven days from a win. To be honest, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I went ahead, and I mean, the main thing that has me nervous is because I had like all my fantasy drafts the day before this game, before I saw Mitch play a whole half, and I thought I thought it was still a competition. So I went ahead, and, and I, I was confident in Kenny before the Lions game. So I went and drafted Kenny in like five different leagues in like the fifth round. So now I don't have a starting quarterback. I guess do I take Mitch at this point? Who has fantasy? Um, who give me some fantasy advice? I, I think uh, to stay away from the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude, we're trash. Don't even get our defense. <laughs> I think the only two guys worth picking up are Najee and Deontay. Everyone else can. I'd take our defense. I, I would take well. Pickens for a solid like eleven points a game. You think people are I taking guess. Pickens already? I think that's like a your last pick of the draft. Like you're hoping he he starts. Yeah. Playing. Right, right, right. I, I think, think I think rookies. Pickens might be the. I remember way back I said rookie of the year is gonna be the wide receiver with the best uh, QB. Yeah, I remember you said that. I feel like I, I feel like it could be Pickens. Is, Who's his QB though? Mitch or Kenny? That's the main question, huh? That's the thing. Rookie of the year would be Kenny if he started, but it's gonna be. Uh, it's not. It can't be Kenny because he's gonna start week seven, so he, he doesn't have enough seven, games. <laughs> Pickens will have all that time to. Put up some numbers. <laughs> What's week seven? Pickens will have all year to rack up numbers. Kenny, yeah. K- Kenny's playing. Have a head start. <laughs> well, I, I honestly, if there's ever gonna be a co rookie of the year, it should be those two. Let's wait and see. <laughs> that's 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 what I'm. I'm that's what I'm down for. Let's wait and see. Before I start going on Fanduel and shit, huh? Not an ad um but let me let me break down the stats i, I said mitch won 15 for 19 160 yards one touchdown came at a two minute drive at the end of the half um and then kenny went 10 for 14 90 yards and poor mason man this guy went over three he only got one drive i mean why haven't we shipped them out yet i don't know man we're greedy but like what was the point like if him giving if tommy giving him those reps like i'm pretty sure kenny could have used them but even then it's like you know any any of them needed fourth quarter reps in the last preseason game at this point. I don't know, honestly. I'm trying to wrap my head around why didn't why didn't he get to play in the second quarter? Did Trubisky really need those reps? I think he did. Deontay that's was like, out of the game minute, by then. That two minute drive was what I think we needed to see. Yeah, I mean up until then I was like, bro, I, I no honestly, I think I think midway through the second quarter I saw I saw a stat climb up that the Lions had more first downs than us, and I was like, ain't no fucking way. Fuck. <laughs> it's like, they're playing backups, and we got our starters out there, and we can't do shit. That's not good. <laughs> I'm not feeling good about Mitch. The, I mean, no, that drive, he, he the hit The two-minute drive nice did look good. He hit a the nice... The one to Pickens, yeah. and the Fire with one. The touchdown was just whatever, but it was the right um, throw, the right decision. Yeah. 
He threw a dime to Deontay too. Yeah, that first round. Honestly, that was nice. people would be talking about that one more if it weren't for the one Kenny hit to Miles Boykin in the third quarter. That was oh, the fucking, back shoulder? That was a dime too. I think, I think Mitch's was better. I Mitch's was one, longer, uh, right? I think it was just a better throw. <laughs> I think that back shoulder is just more like you guys have a good. Uh, it looks flashier. Yeah, it looks nicer. I don't know. They they both made great throws, and that was good to see. It was good to see Kenny throw downfield because that was the main thing. People were like, "Oh, he's getting dump offs." And finally, he hit something at least a good distance done. Yeah, it was nice to see that. Um, but honestly, as of right now, Tomlin refuses to announce the starter, and honestly, it's really just smokescreen. Um, but I, I'm it's guaranteed Mitch at this point. We were really hoping for a, like at least a quarterback battle going down to the wire, but as soon as Mitch came out for the whole first half, it was guaranteed. Um, it's only a matter of time until Tomlin announces it. Um, the final roster came out. Any surprises? McFarland. 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 That's the only one. Getting demoted to practice squad. And Jalen Warren, who who looked pretty all right. I don't know. I don't know what, what's the best way to put it. Like, like no one, no running backs looked good at all behind that O-line. In the first game, they looked good. And it just fell off completely. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised Snell is still on the team. <laughs> I don't know why he's here. I don't. I mean, I get that he's been with the team for a couple years now. Did some? Did uh, you see the one where where someone said Benny Snell is starting to become the Mason Rudolph of the running back room? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you here? Like, <laughs> time to move on. Like, it was a bad pick. I think. Uh, I think we got to take a pick. At, uh, take a, a page out of the Raiders book and just like know how to cut ties with a bust. You what did we mean? pick him with? What happened? Fourth Benny Snell was a fourth, right? Ah, uh, fourth? Yeah. Fuck. Like you said, the Raiders cut the back? first rounder. We got to cut, like, we got to just let Kendrick Green and, and just, I don't know, these roster wastes go. You know what I mean? Do you cut Devin Bush? He actually played really, he played well on this game, actually. He actually, I mean, I want to trust Brian Flores' opinion in saying that he's doing what he's supposed to do. What are the stats? Can we get those stats up? Uh, fuck, there's a long list of players. You're asking know. a lot. Two you tackles. Nice all right, players. all right. That's a way. That's, that's a lot. Remember, he had, we just got one from no tackles in the first game to two tackles in the third game. I'll take that. Pretty good. By game 16? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm imagine by the playoffs, dude. <laughs> Defense player of the year. <laughs> oh, but everyone's saying that it, it's it's only going to be a matter of time until it's Mark Robinson season alongside Miles Jack. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, what Brian Flores is saying is is true. I if trust he's it. doing what he's supposed to be doing, maybe maybe he's developing, maybe he's taking on new assignments, and that's why he's having a little bit more trouble picking up tackles or something. I don't know. Right, maybe, may, maybe Brian Flores and him are working through stuff together. Who knows? But this this is all probably just cope and Devin Bush is uh, a bust. A bust. Sucks. That injury fucked him up. Yeah, it did. It was tragic. The same. Ah, honestly, something that's standing out to me right now is Trey Norwood having five tackles leading the team. Did he end up? Did he play like the majority of the game? Because I know he's always like what, like a dime or a nickel on the starters, and then he just got rotated to starting safety once he got to the second half, or what? I think so. Is that what's going on here? I have no idea. <laughs> I think he's just the guy that's actually going to play for us in the season that needs as many reps as he can right now. Yeah, this was a seventh rounder. You guys see that yeah. actually? Um, the the new the new DB from the Bills we got Levi Wallace has been getting advice from Trey Norwood. How to play like on our defense? How about, how about that? He's been in the system for a year. But the, how damn. about that? Better in getting advice from the second year, seventh round pick. That's nice to see. I'll take that. Does make it too good for his his Alabama teammate? Yeah. He got the bag. How has Minka looked in the preseason? Did he even play? He did play, right? Yeah. I honestly, I didn't really see him do anything because he only played like a drive. I think I think he's the one that. Because I know Cam played the whole the whole first half, and everyone yeah. was like, "Okay, you got to pull him out now." As soon as TJ got injured, people were I getting mean, people were getting so furious on Twitter. I was like, oh, man, "I'm just let Tomlin do him." I mean, I think it's pretty pointless to like be evaluating these veteran guys from preseason like, games. I I feel like they're all probably playing like at like 
25 30 percent is is the culture changed now that ben's gone hopefully y'all saw y'all saw my practice right what did y'all think of that get him away from kenny <laughs> we i heard a kind of leadership here. i heard uh ben wanted to take him to a few bars and show him oh my god him <laughs> ben's a new man dude <laughs> he's a christian now yeah, and honestly it's giving off like a senior a senior that just graduated coming back to like school in the first week trying to say hi go to like the like the first football game or whatever like bro we haven't even played a game yet and you're already visiting practice dude it is is ben that old fuck at the gym that's trying to tell you he used to rep out 400 <laughs> on bench <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's trying to yeah. tell you how to do his fucking form and shit like I back in my day <laughs> We didn't have none of that creatine, none of that. It was all raw. <laughs> like, bro, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. Um, it was actually the y'all. So I, I think I said this in the chat though. Um, like Kenji Green tried to give him like a, a high five, or whatever, and then fucking ignored him. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I'm cool. Don't talk to me. <laughs> no, nah, man, we're good. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, shit's hilarious though. Um, what was the next point? Do you have anything else? Not really. I don't think fifty-three man. Um, uh, I want to get into like our actual schedule predictions again as we go along later on on a different episode. Yeah, but um, I think we should drop an episode right like the Friday before the uh week one. Yeah, I don't. Or I don't want to do. I don't know. I think we're gonna do like we're gonna do like a schedule, a ske- like we'll run through the whole schedule again, just mm-hmm. like we did when it first came out like four months ago, <laughs> and then uh, we'll 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 do another preview before the Cincy game. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We'll see. Yeah, I think I think that that's definitely what we're gonna do. I, it'll it'll be good. I, I don't. We'll see how much things have changed since. A while we, ago, especially we, after camp and preseason and stuff, and kind of trades that I, I really just I don't have any information on. You know what I mean? Because as far as we know, these are just depth pieces at at best. Mm-hmm. Um. Besides that, I think the roster win as we predicted. Um, Justin Lang getting cut wasn't that big a deal. No, nah, he ended really. up getting picked up by the Giants. You seen that? No, nah, I didn't. He just hasn't improved in. I thought I thought we were big. expecting something to happen, but who knows? Whatever. But among that, it's uh, there's not really like big draft picks. I think Buddy Johnson is the other one too. He was a fourth rounder last year. That's a disappointing. Is that as high? Is that as high as we went to cut a uh, draft pick so far? I think from last year's draft too, right? Yeah. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty one. Yeah. He was. He's only played one year with this. Um. He did not look good. Mike Robinson <laughs> passed him up. Pretty easily. Fuck. We need some Tuzar Skipper, huh? Nah, that guy sucks. <laughs> Honestly, that trade for that for Malik Reed, he's a outside linebacker from the Broncos, uh, was a solid pickup for that. That was that felt so random, and it, uh, apparently Broncos fans were mad too. So I guess that's how you know you won the trade. We I gave up a sixth, just... and we got a seventh in return. The Broncos have a lot of depth at that position. I think that what it is. Yeah, she's then, like maybe you have a younger guy too that you'd rather just keep. Okay, this was not that old. He's uh twenty six years old. Oh, he's still okay. younger. He's had fifteen sacks in his career, which is not bad in three years. Five sacks a year for a backup is pretty solid. Hey, behind Von Miller too. Von Miller, and then they had a uh, Bradley Chubb. He's a right, uh, right, a really right. good guy. We'll see. We definitely need that because apparently Alex Highsmith's uh his uh, status is kind of unknown at this point. He hasn't played he at all play in the preseason. All, huh? So we'll see. We'll see. Um, bro, TJ's looked like a fucking he looks man like amongst TJ. boys, even <laughs> in the preseason, dude. For a guy that's probably not even going full speed. I mean, yeah, he, he did get that nasty chop block, but we don't. Thankfully, he's all right. Jesus. He looks like a fucking tank already. Like, off the gate, he had the sack and, against the Jags, and then they took him out, and then he ended up playing a good amount in the third game. And he was... This guy. And then they put him sixth. In the NFL top 100, y'all are y'all mad at that, or y'all think that's reasonable? Think Who's ahead of him? Who's five? Who's five? Uh, the Colts. The, the Colts running back. Player, 
Ah, uh, he's pretty good. Damn. No, but uh, he wasn't even the highest <laughs> oh, yeah. defensive player. Are y'all yeah, cool with Aaron good. Donald being ahead of him still? Aaron yeah. Donald at number two. Just, Does, doesn't Aaron Donald game. get like doubled every fucking play? Yeah, Nick Aaron Donald's legit. Aaron I don't, Donald. I don't, I don't have a problem with. You do hey, I was hoping you... he cracked the top five, but I'm just, I'm just thanking God that he wasn't <laughs> behind Miles Garrett because then Who's I number would've... four. Four was Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. He was the best. Damn, guy. that's pretty good. <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, it's tough, Aaron man. Rodgers and Tom Brady. It's are, hard are in, in, in the offensive league right now. Hey, whatever. I mean, just like the Colts running back had a like unbelievable season. The Cooper Cup had another unbelievable season. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron or Tom Brady Donald won the MVP. Tom Brady was number one. Aaron, yeah, I mean, I mean, Tom Brady is just like hyper efficient, getting the ball down the field. You know what that reminds me of? Kenny. No. Here I am. I don't think Brady doesn't have Kenny's mobility. Oh, for sure. That's about it. (laughs) (laughs) Does Kenny have anything? Any of Brady's traits? His good looks. He's good looking. Kenny has better hair, honestly. (laughs) I've seen that one. Like he's so handsome. I saw the TikTok, but like. The Steelers TikTok went like super slow mo on Kenny on the field, and he's like throwing his hair back and shit, like pouring water in him. Like, bro, what the fuck is this? That looks good. <laughs> like, this is the content yeah. we want, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's his best quality. Giving, with the, giving us what the people want. The flow is flowing. It. We'll tell you that. He's dripped. Yeah, he's drip. Kenny sauced. He he's sauced, sauced. on. Huh? Y'all see, he posted, the, he posted the awesome. Rolex, right? Like, he got a sent a Rolex, and I'm like, I cannot yeah. see where he fucking Rolex. <laughs> Kenny's just goaded with the sauce. That's what it is. Oh, man. All right. That's going to do it for us, though. This is a quick one. We just wanted to discuss the, the, the closure or the end of the preseason. Now we're looking towards the regular season. We have the final roster in here. Still as confused as we were in the beginning because we really just we don't have the official announcement on the quarterback and we don't know what to expect week one playing the defending AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals. But that's going to do it for us, guys. Uh, if you guys have any, any closing remarks, now's the time. No. I'll forever no. hold your peace. I'm cool. You don't have nothing else to say in episode 206. Uh, I guess I think Mike Florio is a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I it was like uh I remember in in the Tomlin press conference when they were asking him about like who who's gonna be the number one quarterback on the depth chart he's like oh I'm not gonna reveal that you know like I want to keep that to myself as like a tactical advantage or whatever I just don't want to feed the beast or, and then the uh, it cuts to and then it like cuts to Mike Florio and Mike Florio was like well t- well Mike Tomlin you should definitely feed the beast because they're the one who pay your salary. And, like, that's the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. Like, everyone in the media, like, every talking head in sports rides the coattails of whatever sport they're talking about. I would, like, what, like, we're doing a podcast on the Steelers. I hope the Steelers get fucking huge so we can ride the coattails into a big podcast. That'd be I sick. I hope we go 17 and 0. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like, everyone's going to want to listen to shit about the Steelers. Right. So. I don't know why I'm like sure you create like narratives and stuff and you make people talk about it, but you're not the reason, Mike Florio. Like the the league would yeah. be here without you. <laughs> it it will be here without NBC. Like it doesn't matter. Without you don't Peacock, matter. Huh? <laughs> yeah, there's always someone else. No, I think it shows on Peacock, right? The was it the Pro Football Talk? They post a lot of clips on YouTube. Yeah, I think yeah, it's it's, it was. Peacock, uh, but then these clips go to YouTube or some shit. Yeah, it was Mike Florio and Chris Sims. Chris Sims had some good takes as per usual, but Mike Florio is just a fucking dumbass. Yeah, Chris Sims is all in on Kenny Pickett now. He said that he made a mistake. That changed. You, that's how you changed your mind, aren't you? I don't know. That throw to Deontay was pretty sick in the end zone against the Jaguars. That yeah, that was pretty fucking I dumb. Thought, I thought the the pass the fire the pass the fire move better though. Oh yeah, touch. that was better. That but was touch. that was that. First it was Frymouth, and then he completely sold me with that Deontay one. We'll see where like this goes, back. man. We're 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 gonna we're gonna we're gonna really go down through the schedule again, and we're gonna like debate when would be the best point to insert Kenny into this. Um, but until next time, we're signing off, and peace. <laughs>